This is my final setup. We've got the LED bar on the left and buried in that wire on the right is the chip. There's nothing to look at anyway. It's an LM3914 chip and I've got a variable resistor. But this was not my first setup. It was like this. I had it had everything wired, but I didn't have a variable resistor. And on pin 5, I just had a wire. And it acts like an antenna. And here is the video on that. This is my first look at the LM3914 chip, which is this chip right over here. And I've got it hooked up to some LEDs, and I've got it upside down. And this wire right here is not hooked up to anything uh, where my fingers are, but it is hooked up to pin 5 of the chip, which you can see right here. Now I'm going to let go of this. Let me move that down out of the way. And I am going to rub my foot on the carpet. And I'm not even touching the wire. And as I move around, rubbing my foot on the carpet, it is reacting to that. And this chip is very sensitive. Of course, if I hold on to it, you can see it's a lot more sensitive as I rub my foot on the carpet. This is going to be very interesting to play with. And I'm, I'm just touching the wire and letting go. Okay, again, I am not touching the wire. My hand is on the table where the trainer is on and I'm moving my feet I get the biggest response when I just lift my foot off the carpet. This is going to be very interesting. Hmm. I did not expect this. Here is the final setup diagram, and you can see I now have a variable resistor, a 10K ohm resistor, and pin 5 is on the wiper. And here's a video on how this works. Okay, power's on, and now I'm going to turn the rheostat, or the variable resistor. And we can see what the voltage is. And more. Okay, now they're all lit. I'll turn it back down. Here's the final diagram. If you take a look at R1 and R2, if you change those resistors, you can change the scale or the voltage when the LEDs come on and if you want that information just search 
or Google LM3914 PDF and just download the information or download the PDF and you will get that information uh, how to set up R1 and R2. It powers on and I'm just going to rotate the variable resistor. I think I'll be able to come up with some other uses other than a volume indicator with this chip. I think that's pretty neat. Thanks for watching.